Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what you can expect, who or what is coming towards you, and what do you need to know about them, about the situation. So let's jump right in for Sagittarius. Spirit Angels. Okay, let's kind of get some insight for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? Who or what is coming towards Sagittarius? So they need to know. Who or what? Oh, that was the King of Cups. Who or what is coming to Sagittarius? Who or what's coming towards Sagittarius? Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, okay. And the Queen of Pentacles, okay. I'm getting really good energy here. Um, like you get, you know, someone's very happy with what they're hearing, what they're being offered. The Five of Pentacles. I feel like this is coming at the right time. I feel like with the Five of Pentacles, it's been, it hasn't been fun lately. There's probably been a lot of setbacks or just disappointments. And then here's the Nine of Cups kind of like showing up to be like, hi, surprise. You're gonna be okay. Can you get some more energy, please? Overall energy over what's coming towards Sagittarius. What's coming towards Sagittarius? Victory lap. Yeah, that's exactly the energy I'm getting. Like success, recognition, triumph. You know, and sudden realization, clarity, truth, epiphany. Maybe you'll understand something now um, because of what's happening, because of what recognition or success you're experiencing. What else for Sagittarius? What's going on here for Sagittarius? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I feel like this is happening at the perfect time. Whoever's coming towards you with this page of pentacles, honeymoon is right behind that. So again, I'm getting like good times, happiness, freedom, fulfillment. Like this is, this is good. This is what you've been needing, like a little pep talk or just something that just happens that shows you that it's going to be okay. So let's see what this Page of Pentacles is about. Why is the Page of Pentacles here, Spirit? The Six of Swords, okay, leaving something behind for something better. That's literally the Six of Swords. Leaving the past behind, whatever hasn't worked out, whatever isn't good, and you're headed somewhere better. Rest, relaxation, healing with the Four of Swords, calm, healing okay yeah the empress whatever this is sagittarius like i feel like you've been waiting for it three of wands i feel like this page of pentacle pentacles for some of you could be a job offer promotion business opportunity and for others of you it's like someone that you meet you have a drink you go out for coffee you go on like a very small like date and it's like it's moving you into a new cycle it's moving you somewhere where you're an empress like energy a lot of abundance a lot of creativity beauty grace um whatever you can desire you manifest you create tell me about the nine of cups some of you i feel like this individual that's coming towards you whether it's someone with an offer for a job or an offer for like date um they're going to like comment on um, it's like they see a future with you and they're going to make a comment about it. It's like if it, it, it's like it's like when you meet someone for coffee and it's the first time you ever meet and they say something like I could see this working out or something like that. And you're like, isn't it kind of early? Tell me about the nine of cups. What do we need to know for the Nine of Cups, please? Oh yeah, Four of Wands. <laughs> Why do we need to know, Spirit, about this Nine of Cups? What's going on here? 
Nine of Cups, please, for Sagittarius. I love this reading. Yeah, look at the sun. I mean, it's like everything you could want and more. Queen of Cups, happiness, stability, domestic bliss, harmony. Like, your wish is granted. You get what you desire. It makes you very happy. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. What do you think about this Queen of Pentacles? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. I think you'll end up um, going to the, a higher level of commitment with this individual. So for example, if it's a job offer, you end up being there for a long time. You end up going through the ranks, promotion. You stay there for a while. Um, you do very well. If it's a person that's interested in you romantically, I feel like you'll end up like engaged. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, please. What do we need to know about this Queen of Pentacles? The Queen of Swords, okay. Interesting, I'm getting here that there is almost like, um, you're being very careful. I think you don't wanna make a mistake. You don't wanna jump into anything. I think you're being very smart here, um, using your, your logic, your intellect. And you're not being driven by emotion, even though emotionally you're very, very satisfied. Um, yeah, queen, there's the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel like you don't want this King of Cups to, to like your emotional mature. And the King of Cups is emotionally mature. I don't feel like King of Cups, like they don't have a handle on their emotions. But I feel like for this particular scenario, there's something about you where you don't want to think just emotionally. It's very important for you that there's some sort of stability. Yeah, you want clarity. The Pis uh, the moon is Pisces energy. So it's because you're just, you know, you don't want to, I feel like you don't want to get played anymore or you don't want to fall under another illusion or you don't, you want to see things as they are. And it's maybe because in the past, your feelings have trumped logic, right? Or perhaps you've gotten carried away emotionally just to find out later that it wasn't what you thought. So I feel like there's there's something here with you being very careful. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just making a comment that that's what I'm picking up. So I love this energy. Like, this is great, Sagittarius. I'm so happy for you guys. And I'm so happy to actually have a reading like that for a sign. Because I feel like it's been a struggle bus on my channel <laughs> for all of the signs. For months, you know. So let's see. What do you need to know? What do you need to know about what's happening here? What's about this individual or this situation. We just Sagittarius need to know, Spirit, that they might not know. What does Sagittarius need to know that they might not know? What does Sagittarius need to know about this person, this situation coming towards them? What do they need to know? Three of Wands, wow, the Wheel of Fortune, amazing, and the Page of Swords. I, I feel like you've been literally waiting for this. On the lookout is what I'm hearing. You've been on the lookout. Like you've been just waiting for the right time for your opportunity to come. Like you've waited for this, I feel, for a long time. It could be some sort of communication with the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords. But I'm also getting like, it's gonna be an aha moment when you do finally meet this person or this opportunity is presented to you. It's like, uh-huh. And Gemini had a very similar reading to this. It's like when you meet someone, you just know. Tell me about this three of ones. The three of ones here. Two of swords. Why is the three of wands here? Yeah, I feel like a lot of you have felt a little stuck. That's why free yourself is here. Six of, and maybe you've been stuck in the past, blocked by the past. Maybe you have needed to free yourself from a past situation. Yeah, and bring back the balance, six of pentacles. I feel like you're getting control back. And there's justice, Libra energy. Yeah, it's like things are gonna be fair and balanced for you this time around. 
it hasn't been like that. I'm speaking to a Sagittarius where it has not been balanced recently. It hasn't been fair to you. You've been through a hard time, setbacks, disappointments, heartaches. And it hasn't worked out. And now that you're free of this like restrictive energy with the two of swords, here is like spirit handing you something, literally like helping you out. Let's be fine. Yeah. I feel like you were needing to let go of something. Maybe you weren't ready to take an opportunity before, but now you are. Now is the right time. And I feel like you're realizing this with judgment. That's that aha moment I was talking about. It's like you realize that maybe you needed to do something differently. Maybe you needed to date different types of people or put yourself out there more. Or maybe you needed to stop going after projects, you know? There's that aha moment, the Ace of Swords again. Maybe you just needed to be honest with yourself about something. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yep, there's that success energy, Six of Wands. It's going to work out. Whatever this is, it's going to be great. And Capricorn had a similar reading as well. It's like they had an opportunity that comes in and it's like, you know, take it. Listen to your intuition, though, the High Priestess. I feel like there's a little bit of doubts here. That's reminding me of the moon because you're probably not going to have all of the answers. And that's what I told Capricorn as well. Sometimes what we want is reassurance that the, everything's going to be okay in the future, but nobody has a crystal ball. Well, most of us don't <laughs> to see into the future and to have that reassurance, right? So it's almost like there's a risk involved and love is all about risk. I mean, love is about being vulnerable. So there's always a risk there. Yeah, seven of pentacles. So it's like, will this work out? Will the result be what I expected it to be? Will my efforts be worth it? Will all of this be worth it? Uh, because I think in the past it didn't work out. But this is different. A lot of signs are actually getting this. Now that I'm, I'm thinking about Taurus now, things are going to be different for them too. Like the new start that they're having, it's going to be different this time. I know I keep mentioning other signs, like focus on Sagittarius, but I'm just, you know, I, I'm making that connection that things are turning around for a lot of the signs. Wow, two of cups. Are you freaking kidding me? And look, there's the Hierophant again. Taurus energy. Wasn't I just talking about Taurus? I feel like you're going to um, end up in some sort of commitment with like a, a partner. It could be a business partner or like a partner partner. But that's the potential here. Tell me about the Page of Swords. And I think it's going to start by like talking to someone, maybe doing a little bit of research into something. Oh my God, the lovers just came out. Maybe you spot someone from across the room. Maybe you start talking to someone. And it's like, wow, we fit together so perfectly. Two of Cups and the Lovers, definitely so many energy there. Yeah, there's interest, there's attraction, there's chemistry. Queen of Wands. And then the Hermit, Virgo energy. But there's also like, I feel like whoever this is that you start talking to, you, you think about them afterwards. You think about, you look back on the conversation like, hmm, did that really happen? It felt really good. Like I felt like we were on the same page. What should I do about that? <laughs> because the Hermit's always thinking about the future. And there's the star, Aquarius energy with the Knight of Swords. So I'm getting like hope, faith, and then there's the nine of swords. There's that doubt again. Is it too good to be true? I see you kind of thinking that. Because I think there's going to be like a honeymoon phase here, right? Where it's like, wow, everything is so good. What's the catch? What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? What else do we need to know? Sagittarius. Where is the need to know? The main male energy. Okay, what else? Masculine energy there. What else do they need to know? Sagittarius, what else do they need to know? 
toil and labor. So some of you, this is a job, but I also feel like this is someone that works really hard, puts an effort. We have family room and bad health. Interesting. Family room is like intimacy. Like you feel very comfortable with someone enough to share secrets, enough to share intimate moments. I feel like you're going to bond over something bad that happened to you or that happened to them. Um, maybe you'll have mature talks about difficulties in your life and how hard you've worked, how hard you've invested in something. Maybe they see you working hard. They see you improving. I, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, there's a connection. There's like this, like, wow, that's perfectly. That's exactly what I was looking for. It's like you're either you're going to meet the person you've been looking for. And it's going to end somewhere very stable, very happy. And it's exactly what you've been wanting. It's like your wish granted in a person. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. How exciting. Must be nice. Um, if this resonated for you, feel free to let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for all of your support. Hit the like button if you enjoy the reading. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Um, there's also a thanks button now um, below the title of the video. If you swipe right on the icons, if you'd like to donate, um, and you can choose the amount that you feel comfortable with. Thank you so much for everyone that chooses to support the channel. Thank you so much. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.